and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdos burn. That's right, our next donation deck. We got another Rakdos one, but this time we're trying to go upstairs and burn out the opponent. We have um, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, which y'all all know about that. But it's this is just kind of a good way of dealing damage to the opponent each and every turn, you know, like make them lose life every turn. And then you also get to gain life to stay alive for a little bit longer and draw more burn spells. But speaking of burn spells, I mean, our other one drop is Scorch Spitter that, you know, just does one damage to the opponent whenever you get to attack with it. We have Fruit of Tezaris. Uh, make them lose two life, and then you can also escape and, and kind of keep on recasting it. So, you know, you just have a good make them lose two life. And then, of course, we have Shock, Stomp from Bone Crusher Giant, Skewer the Critics. A lot of damage upstairs. Croxa, if they uh, did not, if they don't discard a non-land card, get to do three damage with Croxa. Um, whenever you play it, bring it back. Uh, we have Stormfist Crusader that has Menace, so it's harder to block, but then also um, makes them lose life on your upkeep whenever you both draw cards. Um, and then, you know, like that turns on Spectacle also for like our Light Up the Stage and Skewer the Critics and things like that. So, yeah, like we're really like we have to we're just being really fast. We're really low land, like we're just 20 lands and trying to burn our opponents out. Um yeah, that's that's the goal. So let's see how it does. Let's see if it um, if it works. We're gonna play it through a league. We're gonna play it till we win five or lose two with our Rectos burn. Hey, what's up, boot? Uh, Casius, also welcome. Glad you. Glad you're watching the vids on YouTube and everything, liking them over there. Awesome. All right, we only have one land, but this is still going to be a keep with having Cauldron Familiar Double Oven. That looks good. We're going to start with the Spitter, though. Try to get some attacks in with that. Hopefully draw our second land. No. Um... Not too worried about Legion's End, honestly. Getting the familiar down so we can try to get more damage in. Gain two life. It's cheating. Life gain is cheating. Life link, still cheating. Just all their cards that gain life on them. I'm just going to kind of hold up stomp depending on you know, if my opponent has they put in enchantments in their graveyard then we can stomp Ephemia ooh Besselin Spirit is pretty sweet Instant sorcery spells have death touch, not lifelink, thankfully. Uh, 
Uh, that does give them an enchantment to make a 2-2. Two -two. Honestly, maybe I should just let that happen and just let them have that 3-2 there and just not worry about ever killing that 3-2. Fragboy Slim. Give that Twitch Prime Seven. Thanks, Fragboy Slim. It's a sweet name. That's our looks like uh, sub number seven. Update that. All right. Do two more damage with Cauldron Familiar. That's ten percent of their life total. Oh, their starting life total. That is. Discard. Grave Waker. The original escape card. Life Link. What is this? It's all this lifelink stuff. What? Sacrifice. I know, right? Lifelink is cheap. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad they're not attacking the 2 1 flyer. Yeah, take two. Take another one. Oh yeah, that, that's true. I could have I could have sacrificed the Croxa to its own trigger and gotten two food from it. Absolutely. I guess I just get the this Resolute Rider off the battlefield. So if I draw a red source, we get to burn them out with a burn deck. Being if we don't, we're gonna burn them out the next turn. I should just attack and see see if they block. If they don't block. Yeah, I guess Deckmaster just hasn't been updated with the with the Theros cards yet. All right, we got the first game against Black Cards I own. Well, 
Finish above 20 life. Well, I guess at 20. We didn't see any gray merchants. They could definitely have gray merchants. I don't know, but we didn't see any gray merchants. We could play some Tybalt's to try to keep them from cheating with their all their life gain. Um, how are we fitting in Tybalt? I think I'm gonna take out two fruit. Yeah, 20 to, 20 to 0. Flawless victory. No cauldron familiar this time. We do have light up the stage. Probably shouldn't be a keep. Obviously, the, the knight's just going to come back. But it looks like they missed land drop. That's good. Hopefully, we hit land drop. We did, so that's good. Um, I'm going to just skewer this this thing that's gaining life. Boo. Get him, giant. Crush some bones. They could have made this fruit of Tazeris be target player loses two life, you gain two life, probably, right? Like, that doesn't seem like that would have been too overpowered or anything. Lose more life. One cauldron familiar would be really nice. One cauldron familiar.
I think this is a balance card. Does not need a life gain. Okay. Death touch life link. They're just not going to activate Soren. There they go. Calls to your soul. Cauldron Familia. I guess maybe I should just I should have sacrificed this on my turn because of Cry of the Carnarium. But of course I wanted to be able to block the vampire and then uh, sacrifice. So with, with playing Doom Whisper, their only way to stay alive is to sack their vampire, do three to me, and gain three. That will not do it. GG's. Even the three, actually, that they wouldn't have stayed alive anyway if they would have dealt three to me, right? Because, yeah, we would have been able to play this card, so actually, no, they just couldn't stay alive. So, yeah, they, they just couldn't stay alive no matter what. I like Elspeth. I think Elspeth's pretty strong. It's a good, a good planeswalker design and everything too. I like the card. What about Allure of the Unknown in this deck? I could see that being like a sideboard thing against control decks where you can play a longer game, but we're not going to have five lands that often with our 20 land deck. We do here, but... I lure the notes pretty interesting though. Rectus burn. Burdenating with the fruit. Did you have fun? Yeah. We won. Yeah, Shadow Spear is good against Cauldron Familiar, definitely. This will be a keep. Oh, uh, we can't be on the play? Can we be on the play? Yeah, the new fancy lands... Hey, what's up, Yud? The new fancy lands are not on arena yet. Oh, I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess three of them are from the the deck, or like from the Planeswalker decks. So I guess you could have those. 
Life gain. Man, op this opponent's cheating too. Cheating is just rampant on Arena right now. Go, Connor Familiar, go. Fourteen. It's a slow burn. It's a burn, but it's a slow burn. Gonna discard their brazen borrower. That's cool. I think I just want Stormfist Crusader in play. Even though that means I don't get to cast that Cauldron Familiar and it just goes away. I think it's worth it. So they didn't seem to have too much flooded out. Claim the firstborn's pretty awesome against Krasis. It's kind of their reason to play the card. And then obviously Noxious Grasp. That would be six cards to bring in. Do we have six cards we want to take out? So we we'll probably take out Shock, some Fruit. Yeah, like Shock and Fruit. Yeah, Storm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the instructions on what to do. I completely forgot about the BTTV. Completely forgot about that. Just, you know, send me a message on Discord with, like, detailed instructions on what to do. And I'll go do it. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, let's see. I kind of want to play Tybalt also. I'm not sure about that. Maybe like Tybalt over Croxa. Nissa's just going to be really difficult to beat. Yeah, we should, we should play Tybalt over Croxa. Because they have like Uro gain life, which is really annoying, and Krasis gains like millions of life. What do I put back? Do I put back the second Crusader? Or the stage. I think we keep grasp and skewer. It's the stage. Never the stage. Well, we should have extra cards anyway for the Crusaders. And we need the two lands. And I want removal.
Could have been skewer, you know, like that. Could have been that. So I guess this is a Simic Flash, not other Simic. I guess. like half the lands in our deck already. There's only 20 in here. Seven of them. In this land, we are all connected. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, not going to let Krasis gain any life now with the Tybalt. Yeah, donation decks are $20. Thanks, Burr. And you can let me know what, what day and what time slot for second, third, or fourth you would like it played. here to take out this Tybalt. So they got two islands left and they're at three. Aight. Victory! Two and oh. Cool. Sounds good, Snake Spur. Yeah. Is there any time? Hey, Tomislav. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do best of one. Absolutely. I've done... Yep, done best of one with donation decks before. Go, Scorch Spitters, go! They, you know, had to have another creature to sacrifice to be able to bring back Cauldron Familiar. The Reaper will do.
Boo. Such cheating. Uh, life gain. Well, this is going to be a difficult one to win. I, yep, I'm right there with you, J-Jack. I definitely love our channel and community as well. Right there with you. I'm gonna let them block. Maybe not. life gain. How? Only half of our lands. Ten lands. <laughs> Do you have to go to school and earn a degree in, in lording lands? Absolutely. Like, we're down to seven. My opponent hasn't attacked. Yeah, just from all the drain. This is certainly a Tybalt matchup. I 
nice nice if we could have our own witch's oven or you know something that's not <clears throat> I don't know 28 lands or however many we've drawn hey baloney pony Talking. More damage. I did not think we were going to be winning that. Did not think we were winning that. Tibble. Tibble. Come save us. All right, get some shield brickers. And some Tibbles. And some some fish some war bass war bass the fighting fish and we're going to take out croxa and Two shock, a bone crusher giant, a fruit of Tazeris, and these risk factors. Which means I need to put something back in. One of those last cards I just took out. Oh, let's put a Croxa in. Let's play one. One Croxa. Maybe I should play a Storm's Wrath, honestly. Yeah, the deck doesn't have any Fable Passages because... Like you need your first couple of lands untapped. Like there's there's not very many lands. It's it's just unreliable to have like like basically Fable Passage is going to be evolving wilds for the most part with the deck. I would have got rid of the mountain now. Hey, Escurio. Definitely wish I would have got rid of mountain.
No gain life for you. You don't look scared. I can fix that. Yeah, yeah. The uh, question is with overpower cards that get printed, does it suggest that cards don't get properly tested? And. And yeah, like it's. Like, the testing team isn't large enough to just test every single. Like, you know, to do. To play as much games as you see on the outside, you know, like. You know, out here we have. You know, tens of thousands of people playing, you know, hundreds of thousands of games. And that's just not really po possible. And so the more, the mess things just get overlooked. It just happens. Um, then it's also something like where they, they do kind of change cards really late in the process and I'm not sure why they do that but they, they do that they update cards late in the process even after the real testing process sometimes they'll update or you know, like change some cards a little bit and that can lead to things being overlooked and so I guess I should, I should have just quad blocked because I was planning on killing the Timurit, but then I decided not to, so I should have just quadruple blocked. More cards. Wow. Two games in a row of us just really flooding out. My friend is here to help your pain. Our twenty land deck. The only reason why we're kind of in this is because of Tibble. But I, I really wish I would have quad blocked the Timurit. plan is to actually win this. Obviously Tibble just dies the next turn. I'll 
Let's not draw eight lands. So they had Cry of the Carnarium. No, no, once you hit Mythic, you cannot drop out of Mythic. Yeah, you just, you can, your percentage can keep lowering, but that's it. Yeah, like the, yeah, your percentage doesn't matter. You know, the only thing that can matter is, you know, being in the top 1200. Um,. Be in the top 1200 matters for qualifying for uh, the MCQs, but that's it. If you're not going to be in the top 1200 near Mythic, it doesn't matter what percent you're at. have like tons of removal spells right oh come on they can't just have tons of removal spells right Yeah, I was I was behind a little bit on the donation decks. But we got them filled up for today. Which is definitely awesome. Okay, we're trying to trying to finish this out. Castle doing damage. This devilish I adore an audience. Just using this so they don't have a discard spell. We did it. Three no. Bone Crusher Giant. Crushing Bones. Giantly. All right. Yeah, the Ley Line of the Void was basically a dead card. Well, it was a dead card. Didn't do anything. Yeah, that third Giant top deck was exactly what we needed. Can't keep zero. Mm. 
Got to go down to five. All right, that one's gone. And then I guess fruit. It's either fruit or skewer. I'm going to keep the two lands and the bone crusher and the storm fist. Hello. I don't want to like let them counter the counter risk factor, you know, have them untap and then counter it. I'm just gonna fire it off right now. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Yeah, go to discard. Yeah, Teamer Sneak is like a, it's kind of like a sneak attack deck. If you know that legacy staple. Try to burn them out. Yeah, imagine if Risk Factor had Escape 3. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and head spectacle for one red. Yeah, I think it's possible. The youngins don't know sneak attack. It's like we don't have any cards in our graveyard. Got to flash in that Omen of the Sea sorcery speed. Could be looking for land, but I think I think I was on the play though, right? It's like I've already played five lands. Yeah, so they're just gonna discard. So close to killing them. We can put them down to two. If I would have kept this over there, like a land or something.
Of course, so they're gaining two life, so they're at seven. Skewer the critics back. Hmm. Yeah, Dream Trawler is really difficult to beat. Uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult to win. I mean, it's not GG. I mean, we could maybe outrace it. I don't know. That would be tough, but who knows? And yeah, they're not really doing anything. can put like more stuff on the battlefield make it make them want to play like a shatter the sky if they have that and not hope you know not time wipe no we don't have any ember cleaves Oh, whoops. Okay. I guess opponent's still not there. Must have got disconnected. Had a lot of time to reconnect back in though, since they disconnected and then like the two ropes and then my turn and you know, rope at that point. So, like, they've had a good amount of time to come back. So, yeah, I'm well, Stormfist Crusader does more damage than the, than the other oven. If you know, I wouldn't mind them playing Shatter the Sky basically. I, I'm kind of you know, if they're if they're not gonna play a sweeper, I want the Stormfist Crusader, you know, draw me more cards and stuff like that too. But yeah, I guess I guess they just got disconnected. Well it, it counts in the league. Hey, what's up the goat boat? It counts in the league as a win, getting us our fourth win. So we're going for that five oh.
Go boat saying 14 months. At number eight, yes it is. Oh, final boss. Final boss. There we go. Play Mardu with Croxa and Hushbringer. That could be pretty sweet. That could be pretty sweet. I don't think we can keep this. I got the live the stage. Um, Hawkeye was like 12 or 13. Crusader. Join the Crusader. Struck Beast seems pretty difficult to deal with. basically using my mana better and playing this thing that costs four mana instead of just the skewer. Yay, no Ember Cleave. Would have been dead to Ember Cleave. Come on, burn spell. Spell. Yeah. Oh, wait. They gained life? How'd they gain life? Rugged Highlands? Boo. Yeah, that Rugged Highlands lost me this. Could have played these things with haste to win. They, you know, they had lots of ways to win that. The rugged Highland saved my opponent. I know, right? Would have had that game if it wasn't for rugged Highlands. So storms, wraths, a bunch of grasps. And do we want claims? A claim instead of Croxa? No, I like Croxa. Claim instead of something else. Maybe we don't play Storm's Wrath? <laughs> mm. 
Okay, one fruit, one Croxa for two claim. Down to 11 already. No, I haven't played a Final Fantasy MMO. That's Trample. But I don't really need to Noxious Grasp if we can wait and Noxious Grasp something that's going to be a blocker. Which I guess is going to be the Spellbreaker this next turn. Well, kitty cats, you got to finish it out. You got no help. This is it. You got to finish the game. All right, they did. Oh, no, yeah, I haven't... That's a good, good call, Veterans Gaming. I haven't uh, really focused on... Um, abs hand enchantments again I need to do that so if it wasn't for rugged highlands we would have 2-0'd that one Yeah, you can find all of the, my deck lists here, or you can also check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG, where we have, um, where it has all the videos, and all the videos in the description of the video has a link to the deck list also. Want to make it difficult for that Lovestruck Beast to attack. Don't really need to claim the Lovestruck Beast right now because we can't attack with it. I want to wait and claim it after we can attack.
Fair enough. So that's it's still a three three for two trade. It's technically a three for three trade because I used the shock on part of the Love Struck Beast also, so technically three for th three for three. Stage. Go call for familiar go. Oh, got the extra food. We're gonna make the block. Get to save the mana for no reason. Kitty cats. It's like Ember Cleave is like the only card that's going to kill me. So do I shock the 1-1 one -one to keep them from attacking so that I don't die to Ember Cleave? That sounds like a reasonable thing to do. It's kind of greedy, you know, like they have Lava Coil, they get to exile. I have lots and lots of mana. Robber the Red. Twelve cards. So the Storm's Wrath, of course, was going away. Thought might as well play that. Ouch. All right, time to start. Time to start draining. Go fruit of Tazarius. This card's been sweet. We did it. Five and zero. Oh. Fruit of Tazarius. Where's my victory fanfare? There we go. Yeah, this was Kiki's deck.
flame prize. <clears throat> All right, we got our 2100 gold with um, Rakdos Burn. That means we need to get some packs. We need to get some packs to celebrate. And plus my, the Croxa and the Sneak deck, I need, there's cards that I don't have in, in those two decks. Let's get, let's get five packs. Because it's 7,000 gold still. And we'll do two more. A pack for every win and then two extra. All right, we need to open up Myth Mythics. We need Croxas and Perforos. Any Mythic will, will help though. Don't need rares. These are rares. Pretty close to already having a play set of all the rares. We're going to be running out of rares pretty soon. Where's the mythics? Hmm. Mythics are in here somewhere. We haven't had a mythic in like, I don't know, 20 or 30 packs or something like that. Wow. Ofer. Where, where? Oh well, we'll have to use wild cards. Um, we got we got wild cards, but what do you like to open them? But anyway, Rakdos burn, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Um get all these new things out of here so yeah Rakdos burn went went pretty well you know went 5-0 so we had like the one blue white control it was basically a 4-0 because the one blue white control we didn't get to like finish our match they played a dream trawler and so like we were going to be in trouble and then just disconnected so that's not really a win so it's basically a 4-0 um uh yeah, Stormfisker's here. We didn't we didn't really do anything with Croxa. That was a card we basically never had. Um, but yeah, Bone Crusher Giant, Stormfist Crusader, those two cards were awesome. And then yeah, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, just kinda uh pinging them down. And then uh, Fruit of Tezarius finishing out some games. I, I have to say that I was I was impressed by the fruit of Tezarius. Um You know, I wasn't really expecting it to be anything special but it it was pretty impressive i liked it light at the stage obviously incredible um so yeah the deck works pretty well um yeah everything everything went pretty well all right so those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments on the channel we've been getting lots and lots of comments on the videos the last uh like the last week and i've been uh, been really happy about that so thanks for for uh writing all those i don't always get to reply but i read all of them so um but there we go so that's rakdos burn so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video